Measles and rubella are vaccine preventable diseases. In addition to vaccination is to have a very good surveillance system that allows us to detect uh, for risk of measles and rubella outbreak. If we implement these systems in doctor's clinic or in national laboratories, that would help uh, direct resources at the national level to, to those areas and make sure that uh, outbreak will never happen. But what we really wanted to do was to be able to test both rubella and measles and to do, be able to do all of those tests, so a panel of four tests on a single chip all at once. Uh, in our lab, we use a, a particularly unique method uh, that we call digital microfluidics. In digital microfluidics, droplets are manipulated by applying electrostatic forces to an array of electrodes. So first thing you have to do is, like you said, the design. So we come up with a design that we want to print and from there, you kind of feed that into the printer. We have our substrates that we use, and then we have our silver ink, which forms our metal electrodes. And then we kind of just press print, you know, our sheet comes. After that, we'll slice them up into individual devices because they come as a sheet of six. Um, we'll apply them to glass slides that have adhesive on them. And once we have that, we process them some more, put some, some coatings on them to make them ready for digital microfluidics. And then we have the top plate, which is the counter electrode to the, to the bottom electrodes. And then we kind of make the two together and you have a device that's ready to go. So uh, within a day, we can print about 80 to 100. So the next day, uh, I have to manually screen 80 to 100 device. So to help with meeting our deadline, we set a number of milestones uh, in this project um, to make sure that we were able to uh, produce the, the devices that we needed uh, in the quantity that we needed and to get the assays working and running. Organically, without me having to do any work at all, a team of about 15 students and postdocs and technicians in the group came together and worked selflessly on this project without worrying about credit, uh, really working towards a higher goal. We went to a refugee camp in Kenya called Kakuma, and Kakuma is 700 kilometers north of Nairobi. And Kakuma is a really large camp with refugees coming from South Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, and more around Africa. Because these countries have a lot of civil conflicts, their healthcare system is very limited and many people die from preventable diseases every day. One important reason is low vaccination coverage for measles and rubella. Over the course of the three weeks that we were there, we had blood samples from caregivers and also from children who were being vaccinated at the time. So we had 75 samples from children that were receiving vaccinations and then also uh, 75 caregivers. So we were taking these blood samples and we were testing them with our system to measure the antibody uh, levels for both measles and rubella and the two different types of antibodies, IgG and IgM. Uh, so some of the advances for this trip were really uh, trying to make it easier to write our protocols. And so doing droplet routing and making it easier to do operations like mixing. So by the end of the, the three weeks in the camp, you're running four instruments strong all day. Everyone kind of works on their own projects, but this project kind of brought everyone together um, and everyone worked as a team and it was really great um, to see it, how it turned out. The next step is going to be to try to scale this thing up. So uh, there's a limit to how many devices and tests that my academic laboratory can do. So we will be actively soliciting partners, uh, or perhaps in industry, perhaps in government, uh, who can help us uh, scale uh, this type of work up to a level where we're really helping uh, thousands of people 